it's raining in my house a lot, so I'm here, I'm here, okay? Welcome to class. As I said yesterday, we are going to practice today. We are going to work in the Cambridge platform, okay? How many participants? Perfect, 13. I'm going to share the activity, okay? So we are going to practice vocabulary and listening, okay? Here it is. We have here the words learn, active, acting, environment, motivation, creative, aware, appropriate, analyze, young. I want you to think what words can complete the spaces, okay? Please, you are going to read carefully the information and obviously you are going to work with me. So the number one, my daughter is really, she loves painting and drawing. What could be? Creative. Yeah, it is the only way we can put here, my daughter is really creative. Okay, later we check. Don't forget, my daughter. What is the opposite of daughter? Guys, what is the opposite of daughter? Sun teacher. Oh, perfect. So my daughter is really creative. She loves painting and drawing. Number two, it is so much easier to learn languages when you are. Let me put this here. Fire. Uh, okay, we have um, here says, it's so much easier to learn languages when you are. What could be the best option? When you are motivation? No. Think yeah. about analyze. When you are analyze. No, analyze is a verb. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. No calza, mija. Yeah. Young. Yeah, maybe here you need an adjective. Yes. When you are young, and it is true, it is scientifically true. Aware. Aware means estar consciente. Aware. You must be aware that if you consume drugs, you are going to have problems with your health. Okay? Yeah? So, look, this is a very nice example. It is so much easier to learn languages when you are young. So, for example, you, you can learn English easily. For old people, it's more difficult, okay? Number three, in an learning lesson, the students participate in the planning and the process. What could be? Tell me, please. Think about the answers and practice vocabulary in context. Analyze. In an analyze learning lesson, in an analyze. Mm, I prefer you to look for another option. A noun, because analyze is a verb. Imagine a class like now. Imagine a class like now. Like now. Okay, thanks. In an active class, what is active that everybody participate, okay? Not only the teacher. Maybe not everybody because I do not have time to to make everybody participate, but most of you, okay? So in an active learning lesson, then we check, okay? Yeah. 
in an active learning lesson, students participate in the planning and the process, okay? Because I was living in Australia, my to learn English was high. I show you the the options, okay? My, my, wait a second, my goodness, sorry. The number four, please. You have acting environment, motivation, aware, appropriate, analyze. Motivation. Okay, let's put, because I was living in Australia, yes, I suppose uh, many people in Australia speak English, right? So, it is a motivation. I agree with you. So, let's, oh my goodness, sorry. Let's put motivation here. This is track and drop, okay? Here says, I find that, I find that gives a lot of confidence to my to shy students, shy students, people who don't like to participate. Here in the class, I have many shy students. So I find that what could be there? Appropriate. That appropriate. Okay, let's put appropriate, but later if you change. Um, if you change your uh, your mind, we change, okay? Or if you make an, another decision, okay? Yeah. I suppose, here it is, I suppose a good teacher is one who helps students to... Who is a good teacher, please? Yeah. Okay, somebody said learn, maybe. Let's put... Uh, I suppose a good teacher is one who helps students to learn okay maybe let's see the answers later my company uses software to marketing that what could be guys analyze okay thanks i think it could be correct okay we will check the answers later. My company uses software to analyze marketing data. Okay, employees, you know this vocabulary. Employees do better in a pleasant working. Please check. Um, wait, wait a moment, please. Give me a second, please. I'm so sorry, my dear students. Okay, so employees do better in a pleasant working environment. Environment in un ambiente de trabajo bonito. Okay, yeah, that is true for students, for employees, for family. If you have a nice environment, you feel good. You do things positively. Okay, tourists need to dress in clothing when visiting religious building. So please. As I said a moment ago, if you have to remove some answers, you can do it. Because I think acting is not correct there. I think aware is not correct. So maybe you have to take an answer from here, take a, remove an answer and put here. Please think, please. Appropriate. Yeah, I agree, my dear students. Excellent. So that is the way. Here it says tourists need to dress in appropriate clothing when visiting religious buildings. And I suppose here I find that what could be. Acting or aware, or maybe you want to remove.
another one. Just tell me, please. Sorry, guys. What could be the answer? Tell me you can, the number, three. you almost finished the last. Okay, let's do the number 10. These days we are more of the importance of eating healthy food. These days we are more, you have two options. Okay, wait, teacher. More aware. Remember that aware means conscientes. Que okay, acá lo que dice, en estos días estamos más conscientes de la importancia de comer comida sana. These days we are more aware of the importance of eating healthy food. These days we are more aware of the importance of staying home. Yeah, because if you live home, you can um, be contaminated with coronavirus, okay? Or COVID-19, yeah. Uh, and obviously we have acting, and I think acting is perfect here because when people or when students, when you, if you are shy here, what is the meaning of shy? Yes. If you are shy, the teacher has to do activities where the students can act, and that helps them to to become active. Okay? Yeah. Let's check. Excellent, this activity, my dear students, for you to practice vocabulary in context. Most of you, it is everything correct. Everything is correct. You got 10 points. Thanks for your participation. The next activity is a listening, okay? Listening activity. Here we go. You have to listen and complete the spaces, please. Complete the spaces with here I'm talking about. I would like to. Finally, we'll think about, tell me if you don't understand, okay? After that, I'll. I is the contraction of I will, future, okay? Sorry, eh, because I am drinking coffee, but in my house it is very cold. Very cold. And I like to drink coffee in the afternoon, okay? In today's talk, I would like to. First, I'm going to, okay, so first let's, and I will finish with, please listen, uh, please take notes in your agendas. I, do you have a pen and a, and a notebook next to you? If you don't have a pen, please find one. You need a pen or a pencil, okay, to, uh, to take notes. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Please pay attention, listen. Thank you for coming and complete the spaces. Thank you for coming. In today's talk, I'd like to look at teaching English to young preschool children. Here, I'm talking about kids between two and five, so very young. I would like to discuss three main topics. First, I'm going to look at what we call active learning. After that, I'll look at learning through play. Finally, we'll think about getting children to use their imagination. I'll finish with a list of five tips for teaching children at this age. Okay, so first, let's look at active learning. I repeat, my dear students, remember, take notes on your agendas and then you tell me. Thank you for coming. In today's talk, I'd like to look at teaching English to young preschool children. Here, I'm talking about kids between two and five, so very young. I would like to discuss three main topics. First, I'm going to look at what we call active learning. After that, I'll look at learning through play. Finally, We'll think about getting children to use their imagination. 
I'll finish with a list of five tips for teaching children at this age. Okay, so first, let's look at active learning. Thanks, my dear students. What is in the number one? Thanks for coming. In today's talk, in el tema de hoy, no? In today's talk, I'd like to look at teaching English to young preschool children. Next. Here, I'm here talking about. Here, okay. I don't remember if you say good. Here, I'm talking about kids between two and five. Mire como se dice niños de entre dos y cinco años. Kids between two and five. So, very young. Next. I would like to. I would like to. Okay. I would like to. Me gustaría, no? I would like to discuss three main topics. First, I am going to. First, I am going to look at, the, at what we call active learning. After that. After that. After that, I'll, I look at learning through play, okay? Finally, we think about? Finally, we think about getting children to use their imagination. I finish. I finish with uh, a list of children at this age. Okay, so, so first let yeah, now my dear students, I'm going to put again the listening and I want you to go and check. Read and check, okay? Thank you for coming. In today's talk, I'd like to look at teaching English to young preschool children. Here, I'm talking about kids between two and five, so very young. I would like to discuss three main topics. First, I'm going to look at what we call active learning. After that, I'll look at learning through play. Finally, we'll think about getting children to use their I'll finish with a list of five tips for teaching children at this age. Okay, so first, let's look at active learning. How many mistakes are there? How Not many teacher. mistakes? Repeat, please. No teacher. Any mistake? Yeah, good, excellent. Any mistake, and we are going to check. Everything is perfect. You got eight points, yeah? So when you listen the question, how many mistakes, you have to say anyone or any mistake, okay? Any mistake, teacher, everything is right. Everything is correct. Everything is great. Everything is perfect, yeah? Next uh, activity, guys. Uh, listening number one. Okay, listening. Okay, let's see. Next activity. Unit one, listening number two. Yeah? So here, my dear students, you are going to listen to the next part of a lecture. You are going to choose the correct answer to complete the sentences. For example, the lecturer says that active learning, please, you choose A, B, or C. In the example, the children first, A, B, C. If the children are very young, A, B, C. It is important, A, B, C, and at this age. Yeah, when you, for example, when you, if you want to, if you want to take a, an international exam, um, when you have to do listening, the first thing that you have to do is read the questions carefully. Yeah, you have to read the questions carefully like we did a moment ago, and you just have to concentrate in listening the answer for this question. The other options, no problem, because if you listen the answer for the question, you just go here and say, ah, this was, and the other ones you eliminate, okay? So let's start. Do not forget, you have to do, you have to do the listening activity um, in your,
your agendas and then when I repeat twice, normally when you take an, an international exam, an English exam, yeah, I don't know to travel to travel to another country, you you have the opportunity to listen the the activities twice, no more than twice. Okay, so we are going to do the same. Okay. So first, let's look at active learning. Active learning means offering lots of different activities in the lesson using all the senses. It's good to have situations which help the children to see, hear, speak, and even touch the new language. Touching can be done by using different materials. Activities include singing, chanting, and dancing. Watching, coloring, and making things are also useful. Let me give you an example. When learning a new word in class, children might first hear the word in a song. They can then repeat it by singing together. Children love doing that. Then they can see the word if they're old enough to recognize some letters. After that, they can write or copy the word with pens or with different materials like wool. Lastly, they can use the new word. I know it can be difficult to teach very young children, so I hope these ideas are useful. Young children have a shorter attention span than older children or adults, so they can only carry out each activity for a short time. And don't forget, they're still learning their first language at this age. Your instructions must always be clear. Show them what to do. Don't tell them. Let's now look at using play in your teaching. Play is an essential part of life for children at this stage of their development. Teachers should therefore use play as much as possible. Games with photos or pictures, competitions, races and so on are among the most exciting ways in which children learn. You can also use games to help practice words and expressions you have just taught. Guys, you are going to listen again. Please pay attention, listen and choose the correct option. Okay. So first, let's look at active learning. Active learning means offering lots of different activities in the lesson using all the senses. It's good to have situations which help the children to see, hear, speak, and even touch the new language. Touching can be done by using different materials. Activities include singing, chanting, and dancing. Watching, coloring, and making things are also useful. Let me give you an example. When learning a new word in class, children might first hear the word in a song. They can then repeat it by singing together. Children love doing that. Then they can see the word if they're old enough to recognize some letters. After that, they can write or copy the word with pens or with different materials like wool. Lastly, they can use the new word. I know it can be difficult to teach very young children, so I hope these ideas are useful. Young children have a shorter attention span than older children or adults, so they can only carry out each activity for a short time. And don't forget, they're still learning their first language at this age. Your instructions must always be clear. Show them what to do. Don't tell them. Let's now look at using play in your teaching. Play is an essential part of life for children at this stage of their development. Teachers should therefore use play as much as possible. Games with photos or pictures, competitions, races and so on are among the most exciting ways in which children learn. 
You can also use games to help practice words and expressions you have just taught. Well done, my dear students. Let's check. What is the answer? The lecturer says that active learning, what is the best option? Letter C. Letter C. Okay, let's put, uses all sentences, active learning. What are the five senses? Who knows? People have five senses. That is science. Tell me the five senses we have. A ver, los cinco sentidos que tenemos. Tell me. This one, I'm touching. What is this? Look at me. The eyes. Yeah, okay. Eyes son los ojos, no, pero es la vista. La vista es el sight. Sight, good. This. Don't tell me nose, okay? Nose is this, yeah, but the things. Who knows the things? Bueno, les voy a enseñar. Repeat, repeat. The smell. Smell, yes. Now I'm touching my mouth. What is this? What is this? Flavor. Flavor. Uh, no, exactly. Maybe, maybe, but it is not the correct word. It starts with T. Empieza con T. Taste. Taste, good. This one. I'm touching my ear. Okay, I will tell you hearing, hearing, and finally this. What's this? Yeah. Touch, touch, or touch. touch. Excellent, yeah? So people with, I'm sorry, people has five senses. Number one, sight. Number two, smell. Number three, taste. Number four, hearing. And number five, touching. Yeah? And if you want to be an active learning, you have to use the five senses, all. Okay, excellent. I think you are uh, right. Let's see the answer later, okay? Because I haven't done this activity. This is my first time I am working with you. In the example for children first, hear the new word in a song, see the new word on the board, or shout out the word. Yes. Mm -hmm. I agree. Good. Next, uh, if the children are very young, they can use pencils, they don't like singing, they might not understand letters. Remember that uh, this lecture is about children between two and no, no, it wasn't two. Between three and five years. So they are little, very little. So what could be the answer here, A, B, or C? Letter C. I agree. Yeah, they normally don't know how to write. Maybe. Okay, let's see. It's important to be clear with the instructions, to do long activities, to understand children's first language. Letter E. Letter A. Maybe? A. Yeah, a, B or C? A. Okay, A. And finally, at this age, two or five. Porque hablábamos de los niños de dos y cinco, me acuerdo. Bueno, at this age, children are difficult. Children can't take photos. Play is important. Letter C. Let's check your answers. Correct. Everything is correct, my dear students. Yeah. So my dear, maybe in the future, in the future, uh, some of you want to uh, want to be a teacher. Please remember when you work with very little, very little the students play is important. The instructions have to be clear. They, they don't understand letters. Um, they like uh, singing a song. They love, love, and they have to use the five senses. Very interesting. Did you enjoy the listening? Ven que si pueden. Espero todos lo estén haciendo. Okay. Next activity. Next activity, guys, to improve. If you improve listening, automatically you you improve speaking. ¿Sí me entendieron? 
Si usted mejora su listening, mejora su speaking. Si usted mejora su gramática, mejora su escritura, writing. That's all. Okay. Here says Cambridge listening number three. Listen to this, uh, to the next part of the lecture. Next part of lecture. Put the topics in the order that you hear. So here we have instruction and organization, rules, how to behave. How to behave means cómo portarse, cómo comportarse. Yeah? Extra things to do, creativity, social skills, dealing with problems, cómo manejar con los problemas, dealing with problems, okay? Please listen and you have, in your agendas, please. Recuerden, tiene que trabajar en sus agendas, luego me dicen las respuestas, porque aquí si me dicen durante el listening, se perturba y no, no se puede, okay? So let's... This is the, the teacher and these are the little guys, the little students. I'm now going to give you seven important tips for teachers who are new to this age group. <clears throat> one, you must have a set of classroom rules from day one. This will help you control the children in the classroom. Remind them of the rules regularly. Two, Get the children to be creative. For example, you can create new songs with the help of learners by trying to use their ideas. Acting and miming are other useful activities. Arts and crafts also provide children with a good opportunity to use their imagination and creativity. Painting, making models, or simply using Lego are all ways of being creative. Three, practice language, but also social skills. Developing social skills is very important at this learning stage. Some children don't come into contact with other children at home. So learning to be friendly and to help each other is useful. Children need to learn to respect their friends and the teacher. They must also learn to share. Four, organize the class well. Children at this stage need to know what to do before activities begin. Remember that instructions need to be clear and activities should be demonstrated in advance. Five, when children are upset, don't panic. Stay calm and approach the students at their level, making eye contact. Speak to them in a soft tone of voice. Six, show enthusiasm about the activities they are going to participate in. Smile a lot. Seven, have a set of songs, chants, puppets, and quick games to keep their attention. You can use them at any moment in the class to change from one activity to another. Okay, my dear students, second time. I'm now going to give you seven important tips for teachers who are new to this age group. One, you must have a set of classroom rules from day one. This will help you control the children in the classroom. Remind them of the rules regularly. Two, get the children to be creative. For example, you can create new songs with the help of learners by trying to use their ideas. Acting and miming are other useful activities. Arts and crafts also provide children with a good opportunity to use their imagination and creativity. Painting, making models, or simply using Lego are all ways of being creative. Three, practice language, but also social skills. Developing social skills is very important at this learning stage. Some children don't come into contact with other children at home. So learning to be friendly and to help each other is useful. 
Children need to learn to respect their friends and the teacher. They must also learn to share. Four, organize the class well. Children at this stage need to know what to do before activities begin. Remember that instructions need to be clear and activities should be demonstrated in advance. Five, when children are upset, don't panic. Stay calm and approach the students at their level, making eye contact. Speak to them with a soft tone of voice. Six, show enthusiasm about the activities they are going to participate in. Smile a lot. Seven, have a set of songs, chants, puppets, and quick games to keep their attention. You can use them at any moment in the class to change from one activity to another. Guys, very easy the activity. Which is number one? Rules. Rules. Yeah, the rules, my dear students, it's important with young children, with you. Yeah? So rules is, for example, you have to be punctual, you have to participate, you have to do your activities, you have to respect the teacher, all of that uh, all is example of rules, okay? Number two. Creativity. Creativity, yes. The teacher has to be very creative with the students. Imagine teaching this uh, little how monsters because the little guys in the school i was a teacher i was a teacher of um, in a high school i worked for about 12 years with little children my goodness they run in the class they throw things they go under the desk they are very very naughty but they are very lovely too obviously and very intelligent but the teacher has to be very, very creative and the teacher has to be very patient. Okay, number three. Social skills. Social skills, okay. Oh my goodness. Number four. Number four. You I have to teach uh, instructions or organization. Instruction one, two, three. Yeah, okay. No, sure. problem. no problem. You have to say, I'm not sure. I am not. Okay. Yeah. Next. You have um, how to behave, como comportarse, extra things to do, and dealing with problems. What could be the number five? Tell me, tell me, no problem if you make me Dealing think. with the problems. Okay, dealing with problems, it is here. And we have how to behave and extra things to do. Extra things to do. Okay, use. extra things to do and how to behave at the end. Okay, maybe let's check the answers. Okay, there we have, you have correct almost everything. The number one, two, three, four, and five, the six and seven are not correct. So I suppose that how to behave is here and extra things to use is, but the other ones are correct. Yeah, before we continue with the next activity, I have 20, 20, eh, 28 participants, please. Uh, I check the roll and we continue with another activity, okay? Pay attention, please. Uh, Ms. Angulo, Naomi. Today is Friday. Naomi is not here, okay? Uh, Briseño, Pamela. Pamela. Brito, Mateo. No. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Cadena. I thought because nobody's present. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Kaisa. 
percentage of banks, eh, Cañizares, ¿no? Carrillo, eh, Cobo Daniel, Coraquilia Allison, Present teacher. Okay. Cruz, Jair, okay. Domínguez, García, yes, I can hear, Gonzaga Anthony, Guamán, Franklin. Present teacher. Ok. Huasco Andy. Present teacher. Ok. Guerra Jonathan. Ok. Herrera Mario. Guaraca. Carol. Many students don't say present. Leiva Mateo. Leon Diego. Oops. Lugmaña Francisco. Males Humara. Malita Sik Maritza. Okay. Minaya Brian. Present teacher. Okay. Mosquera Kevin. Present teacher. Tachacama Alex. Present teacher. Okay. Paredes Johan. Pastuña Edison. Present teacher. Yes. Se me escucha. Yes, yes. Pilco. Present teacher. Okay. Pozo Luis. Pozo Luis, presente teacher. Okay. Quinapalio. Gracias. Okay. Reynoso Pamela. Present teacher. Okay. Remache Michelle. Michelle. Robles, Michael. Present teacher. Rojas, Dayerling. Eh, Present teacher. Eh, Rosales. Present. Okay. Sandoval. Present teacher. Sarmiento. Eh, Present teacher. Silva. Present teacher. Okay. Subía. Present teacher. Tipan César. Present teacher. Donato. Present teacher. Eh, Yanes. Zambrano. Present teacher Zambrano. Finally, Zumba. Eh, teacher. Yes. En, en el chat había escrito una compañera. Ya. Yeah. Teacher, disculpe, grito, no nombró mi internet anda mal. Ya. Yeah. Mr. Zumba. Anthony. No. No está. Ya, Brito me dijo, ¿no? Sí, Picha. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Mr. Brito, ya. Yeah. Ok, Ana, let me check a message, please. It is for Carolina Cañizares. Ok, ya, yeah, no more. Can we continue with the class? Okay. Yeah, mate. So we continue with the next activity, okay? Let me share. Reading. 
All of this information uh, is related to the unit number one. No problem, because here you are going to you are going to to improve your English. Okay, so this is um, yes, yeah. So here says Cambridge English. Um, here says identifying main main ideas. Okay. Read this is an essay, one, two, three, four paragraphs, no more, it's a small reading. Read the essay on teaching young learners, yeah? And the importance of play. Complete the main ideas in the table with no more than three words from the essay in each topic. So you have to complete here, no more than three words here, skills, social, creativity, uh, play is useful for both language and songs are good if they uh, they learn to share, to be nice and to be children like copying. So this is good time too. Okay, obviously to do this activity we have to read the information. Okay, so I don't want to read. You have to read because you are learning and I am going to start with uh, Brian. Could you please Read the first paragraph. Yep, read please. Brian Tonato. Hello, Brian. I'm talking to you. He's not paying attention, my goodness. Zambrano Alexander, read please. Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, children all over the world spend a lot of time playing. Mm -hmm. As they play, they develop skills that are very useful. They learn to solve problems, to try to improve, to share, to share with others, and to say things. All, all of these are useful when learning a language. Play is useful for improving language skills, but also for social development. It can also help them use their imagination and creativity. Very well, thank you. Cesar, please read the second paragraph. Yes, teacher. The skill children develop in the language platform are how to speak and listen in English. A simple game matching a word to a picture or a color to an object is good for learning new words. Sounds that repeat key vocabulary are fun to learn and children love singing them together. Painting and col coloring pictures of new words also helps them remember them. Thank you. Please, I need your participation, Mr. Brito. You are going to read the paragraph number three. Okay, teacher. Uh, playing with other children is important for the development of social skills. In the language classroom, uh, pupils need, need, need to communicate with each other. Through such play, they also learn how to get along with other sharing be, begin in friendly, friendly. And <laughs> but then can all be learned mm -hmm. thank you here is sharing being friendly and being patient can be all learned thank you and i finish with Catherine sandoval please read the last paragraph Yes, teacher, ¿me escucha? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Thank you. Okay. Play and creativity to, together uh, dressing up as an uh, astronaut. Uh, astronaut or a waiter allow children to pretend to be uh, some different and to practice new language. Uh, children at this age are le least worried about uh, speaking and coping. Uh, so it is uh, also a good way to learn uh, pronunci uh, pronunciation. Uh -huh. 
I think in my class uh, that uh, uh, language, uh, learning, uh, social uh, development and creativity go well together. Thank you. Yeah, I find. I find in my classes that the language learning, social development and creativity go well together. Yeah, my dear students, please analyze carefully the reading. Please now you have to complete here. Children learn to solve what a skill, okay? Let me put the so you have to complete information about introduction, skills, habilidades, social and creativity, yeah? So you have to complete the spaces. You tell me, please check, maybe you want to see, okay? What can you put here? Children learn to solve. To solve what? What could go here? Children learn to solve. Find here. Problems, teacher. Excellent. Ah, okay. Children learn to solve problems. Um, problems, okay? Improve, share, and say things. A skill. A word to a picture is good for learning words, okay? So we come, come here, solve problems to try to improve, to share with others, and to say things. All of these are useful when learning a language. Play is useful for improving language skills, but also for social development. It can also help them to use their imagination and creativity. The skills, the skills, pay attention here. The skills children develop in the language classroom are how to speak and listen in English. A simple game matching, a simple game, a word, to a picture, so the answer is there. What could be here? Watching. Yeah, okay, let me see. Let's see. A simple, he said no more than three words. Matching. Decía que no más de, de tres palabras, no si ponemos a simple game, no. So matching. I think it is matching a word to a picture. Good, guys. Matching. Yeah. Matching a word to a picture is good for learning words. Social. Children need to with other uh, with each other. Children, okay, the language classroom. Pupils need to communicate. Ah, uh, here it is. Yes. Communicate. Okay. Children need to communicate. This is okay. Communicate. Children need to communicate with, uh, with each other. Dressing up allows children to dressing up, disfrazarse de algo, no? Dressing up allows children to. Here was playing with children is important to develop social social skills in the classroom. Pupils need to communicate uh, with each other through such play. They also learn how to get along with others. Share. Pretend. Pretend. Where, where, where? Present. Patient, what is it here? Play and creative go to the dressing up as an astronaut or a waiter allows children to pretend to, to be okay. Thank you. Children dressing up allows children to excellent guys. Pretend, pretender, no? Pretend, pretend, pretend someone. Children to pretend someone different, okay? Uh, we continue. Play is useful for both language and play is useful. El juego, no? Play but creativity go together. Dressing up. That allows children to pretend to be someone different and to practice a new language. Children at this age are less worried about the speaking and copying. So it is also good. 
It is also a good age to learn pronunciation. I don't find the answer here. Which is in the introduction. Or maybe children all over the world spend a lot of time playing. As they play, they develop skills that are useful here maybe to learn to solve problems. Let's see. Play is useful for both language and development. Skills. Uh, let me see and skill development. Okay, let's put, let's see if it, no problem if skills. Skills. Development. Yeah, songs are good if they, songs are good if they, vocabulary. Repeat. Repeat, please. Repeat. Okay, if they repeat, let's put your idea. Yeah, songs are good if they repeat vocabulary. They learn to share, to be nice, and to be. You can remember they learn to share. Por aquí estuvo, I remember. They learn to solve problems. If you find, tell me, please. I don't see this. I remember I saw, but I, where? I don't remember. Now here it is. They, 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 they share, being friendly, and being patient. So what can I put here? They learn to share, to be nice, and to be Son tres. Exactly, patient. Patient. Yeah, and finally, my dear students, children like copying, so this is good time to learn. They like copying. This is good time to learn. Pronunciation. Okay, let's see. Pronunciation. Good luck, guys. Let's check your answers. Okay, oops, you have six correct and two are wrong. Pretend is not correct. Let's see, no problem. Communicate is good, 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 good. The skills is not correct. And let's see the answers to see a uh, social development here and pretend to be, we forgot. Excellent, my dear students. So if you continue practicing reading like this, listening, like this for sure my dear students you are going to improve okay let's do one more activity okay let's change to another activity reading only one because it takes a lot of time but it is better to do listening but wait a second please yeah
Okay, my dear students, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so let's do um, one more activity, okay? One more activity and then we are not going to do any more. And the next class, the next class, um, we will continue doing listening activities because we have a lot of time to do the other, the unit number four and uh, and five. We have a lot of time. So the next Tuesday, we will continue working on the, um, in the Cambridge platform, okay? So now we have unit number two. It is listening, please read. Read the definitions. Someone with no employer who sells services to various companies. It is an adjective. You listen and complete. Okay, listen. Okay, let me see. Listen to the three people describing their jobs. Yes. Listen for the words that match the definitions and write the words in the gaps. Yes. The ability to be easily and frequently changed. It is a noun. A money paid by your employer when you are ill. Now, an agreement to work for a company with no warranty for regular work. Now, please, money paid by you, by your employer for time off. Now, please, another way of describing someone who works independently. Adjective, the adjective from anxiety, the adjective from anxiety, adjective, please and the lowest, possi uh, the lowest possible salary allowed by the government. Now, listen, okay, listen please, three people describing their jobs and try to complete the, the spaces using these meanings. Con estos significados lo pueden hacer, okay? Yep, let's do it. <laughs> I work as a freelance writer, which means I work for three or four different magazines and websites. I like the flexibility of working a lot when I want to, and then less if the children are not at school, for example. I'm always worried about getting new work, but it is usually okay. Unfortunately, if I'm not well, I don't get sick pay. Two. I work for a hospitality company, so every week I'm in a different place. I have a zero hours contract, so some days there is no work at all. When I am working, the hours are long. Some days I do 12 hours, which can be stressful. I'm only paid if there is work, so I usually say yes. Unfortunately, I don't get holiday pay. Three. I work as a delivery driver and the company I work for wants me to be self-employed, which is okay, but sometimes there is very little work. I get quite anxious because I get paid when I'm delivering, but not when I'm waiting. I get paid the minimum wage and usually do about 40 hours a week, but I'm away from home for about 80 hours. Okay, listen again, please, and try to complete. One. I work as a freelance writer, which means I work for three or four different magazines and websites. I like the flexibility of working a lot when I want to, and then less if the children are not at school, for example. I'm always worried about getting new work, but it is usually okay. Unfortunately, if I'm not well, I don't get sick pay. Two. I work for a hospitality company, so every week I'm in a different place. I have a zero hours contract, so some days there is no work at all. When I am working, the hours are long. Some days I do 12 hours, which can be stressful. I'm only paid if there is work, so I usually say yes. Unfortunately, I don't get holiday pay. Three. I work as a delivery driver and the company I work for wants me to be self-employed, 
which is okay, but sometimes there's very little work. I get quite anxious because I get paid when I'm delivering, but not when I'm waiting. I get paid the minimum wage and usually do about 40 hours a week, but I'm away from home for about 80 hours. What could be in the number one, guys? Number one, tell me someone with no employer who sells services to various companies. Someone with no boss, no tiene jefe. It starts with F. Flexibility. No, it is a person. Here says someone. Freelance? Yeah, I think. Let's see. Oops, ya no me dejo. Veamos si me deja escribir. Freelance is a person who works alone independently. He doesn't have a boss. He doesn't have an employer. Okay. The ability to be easily and frequently changed. The ability to be easily and frequently changed. You can tell me any word that obviously that makes sense here. Then we check with the answers, no problem. The ability to be easily and frequently changed. Nobody? Okay, no problem. Number three, money paid by your employer when you are ill. No? Number four, an agreement to work for a company with no warranty of regular work. Okay, number five, money paid by your employer for time off. <laughs> okay, no problem, guys. This was difficult. Uh, another way of describing someone who works independently. Another way, it may be this one, but let's see. Another way of describing someone who works independently. No, teacher, no, no, no entendemos bien eso. <laughs> no problem, no problem. The adjective from anxiety. And finally, the lowest possible salary allowed by the government. El salario mínimo. Okay, you are going to see the answers, no problem. It is, uh, the number one was correct. The number one was correct. You said freelance. You did. Okay, and here it is, look. Someone with no employer who sells services to very freelance. The ability to be easily and frequently change flexibility. Money paid by your employer when you are ill. Ill means enfermo. So, sick pay. Yeah? Uh, an agreement to work for a company with no warranty of regular work, zero hours contract. Okay, zero hours contract. Okay, money paid by your employer by the time of holiday pay. Another way of describing someone who works independently, self-employed. It is a synonym maybe of freelance. Um, the adjective for anxiety, anxious, and el salario mínimo in English, minimum wage. Minimum wage. Yeah, this was kind of confusing, was very difficult, I understand you. Do not worry, but you are trying, okay? You are trying, you are learning, so that is, we go little by little, okay? Yeah, my dear students, for today we are not going to do a more. The next class, the next Tuesday, we will continue practicing reading and listening, okay? And that's all for today. Go and, um, I don't know.
please don't forget you have to do the, the Cambridge platform, the workbook online, okay? That's all. If you don't have any questions, we are going to finish the class here. Sure. Okay? Yes. I have one activity on Cambridge platform that I don't know how to do. Could you Can I share the uh -huh. screen, please? Okay. But... I, wait, wait. I, I, I let you share the information. Yeah. Share, please. Yeah, here. This. Make it bigger, please, for me to see. It says word groups. Listen to the dialogue. Choose the speaker pause. Listen to the dialogues. Escuche los diálogos. Choose where the speaker pause. Y escoja donde el hablante hace una pausa. Eso tiene que hacer, mija. Guess what? Sí, ya hice de todas las maneras que pude, pero no. Por ejemplo, if I put there, no. I try with some of shots. Uh -huh. Y no. No. Que listen to the dialogue, choose where the speakers pause. Solo dice que escuche y ponga donde el, el hablante hace una pausa. Guess what? Just... Y si yo le pongo, digamos, para ver las respuestas, uh -huh. me da las respuestas, pero no, tampoco, o sea, no, no, no dice nada. No. Sí, 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 le entiendo. Y me, me pone como cero, como si no hiciera la actividad. ¿Qué, qué actividad es para ver si le marca en, en Cambridge? Es del el Unit 1C, Pronunciation. Ya voy a ver. En ese creo que la mayoría era de, de pausas. Por eso es que te salto el como está ahí. Creo que eran todas pausas. Ah, en el, en el unit 2 también es lo mismo. Claro, en la C es pronunciación, todo. Entonces quería ver si es que... ¿Cómo está su...? ¿Cómo le afecta? ¿Pero qué unidad es esa, mija? ¿La Esta es la primera. Ajá. Ya, déjeme revisar el writing. ¿Ya terminó o todavía no? El writing, como que me faltaba de ahí, lo demás ya tengo todo. Déjeme ver cómo está su, su apellido. Rosales. ¿Usted está en el Full Edition o...? Sí, en el Full Edition. No lo encuentro. Rosales, ya. No se ve la pantalla, ¿Qué? teacher. ¿Perdón? No se ve la pantalla. Ok. Deja de compartir. Sí, deje de compartir usted, por favor. Sí, ya. Uh -huh. Dice que la unidad 1 tiene 95%, o sea, tiene, no le afecta mucho ese, esa actividad. Siempre que ya tienen 95, yo les pongo 10. Ya tiene hecha la unidad 1, la 2, ya, 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 ya. la 3 está con el 90. ¿Ok? Entonces, no sé, tal vez ya. se llama de, de la plataforma, porque... La instrucción está clara y lo que hace también está bien, pero no, 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 no coge, no, ahí si no, la verdad, no, no sé cómo ayudarle. Bueno, ya chicos, entonces nos vemos la próxima semana, ¿ok? Disfruten el fin de semana en casa, aunque sea, pero disfruten con la familia, ¿ok? Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher.